Right, here we've got a, a film showing you uh, how to uh, draw cylinders, inside cylinders, take them away from each other, put some materials on, and uh, mess about with the lighting on a, a superficial level. But I'll just show you the, uh, how to go about it. And we're going to use drawing a, a lipstick as, as the model for it. Now, I'd like to draw this uh, laying down flat rather than standing up, and so I'm going to just draw a, a box here as a bit of construction geometry, and I'm going to make this my work plane. So I can now choose a cylinder. I go to the edge of the cylinder. I hit E. That takes me to the center of the cylinder. I'm going to hit uh, Tab, Tab. The diameter is uh, 18, and the height is 90. There's my first cylinder. I'm then going to put another cylinder inside there, so I can do a C here, or I can do an E on the outside again. And this cylinder, its diameter is uh, 16, and it's going to be the same length. Oh, done it in the wrong one. Hang on, start again. I'll do that as a C. I wasn't looking what I was doing. Now I go tab, tab, diameter 16. Not the circumference, it's the height 90. Put in the wrong box. Okay, now. I've got one cylinder which is exactly the same length as another cylinder but actually what I want to do is hollow out the cylinder but I want to leave a uh, thickness at each end so I've selected it and in size Y where it says it's 90 I'm going to change that to uh, 86 so that means it will come in 2 millimeters from each end so it will give it a thickness of 2 millimeters around the outside and 2 on the inside at the moment though I've still got two solids so I need to uh, modify 3D operations, subtract, I need to select the outside one and then the one that I want to subtract from. So now I should have a, uh, a hollow cylinder. Next thing is to look at it in uh, um, some sort of end elevation. I can change my plane to active view so I can use the grid and I can use the split tool or 3D slice tool rather select the object and then I can slice the top off and because I've changed this to active view I can use the um, uh, the grid so I do G here G there that's slice that off now if I go to uh, if I select that part whoops I'm sending the tool hit the spacebar select that part I can now move that away let's try and move it away so that I can um, move it along in a plane. There we go. Move it along in that plane. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is draw the, the lipstick inside. So I can use the same same method. Cylinder. I can do a, a C for cylinder here. A C for center here, sorry. Ah, no. Forgot to change the work plane. So, up here. Change the work plane back to there still in the cylinder I can use the um, I can do the C here C for the center I've got the center although I have got the center of the, the, the bottom uh, circle which is a little bit inaccurate but it'll do for our, our purposes and I'm going to do the lipstick here and this time the diameter is going to be 15 and the height this time is going to be sorry I've done that again I put it in the wrong boxes damn so I go height 15 not circumference the height 80 here we are and there's the, the lipstick in its case so again I'm going to find a different angle to it and again I'm going to use the slice tool I'm going uh, to do work plane by active view I'm going to click onto that to slice it this time I'm going to hit a V snap here and anywhere along here I'll just do an end snap for nearest graphic and this time, I don't want that. And there's our lipstick inside, and we'll put a fillet on it. It defaults to one millimeters, and that'll be fine, I think. Hit finish flag. Okay, so here's our lipstick. It's looking fine. Uh, don't need a box anymore. Still in that fillet tool. Don't need a box anymore. I can delete that. 
and I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to make the base of this now my work plane so I'm going to make that my work plane and that sort of makes it a little bit more easy for me to see what I'm doing what I'm going to do now is just put a couple of little ribs on this um, on this casing so I'm going to choose a box and I'm going to go Q for quadrant point and choose a box. So this box is just a piece of construction geometry and I'm going to use a sweep tool to put a, uh, a rib around this. So for the sweep tool uh, I need to do a 2D profile. So first of all I need to find my uh, oh, what's going on here I need to make need to choose a work plane. So I can choose this here is my work plane. Oops, so I'm going around in circles here. This is quite sometimes difficult to see where you're going. Right. I was in the same I was kept staying in the tool as some of the mistake I was making. So here's This is where I want to put a half circle. And one way of manipulating this is to go up here and use these sorts of tools here. This would help. Yeah, that looks a bit easier, doesn't it? A bit better. So I want to put a half circle on here, which I'm going to use a sweep for. So I'm going to use this as my work plane. I'm going to draw a half circle from this point here, which is a V. Make it the size I want. So that's I'm sure it's big enough. This part of the circle is on the outside and that's part on the inside so I need to get rid of the part on the inside so I'm going to go to modify and split and I'm going to click onto the circle which I'm going to split and I'm going to click on Q for quadrant point here and Q for quadrant point there. Let's split that circle. I'm going to take out the part that's on the inside. Now for a sweep tool I need to draw a 2D profile and then define a path for it to go around. And the path is going to be around here so I need to make this my work plane. And then I need to pick a circle and I want to center it here so I can come down here and do a C for center. And I want to and I'll click it to that with a Q for a quadrant point. I now no longer need a box. I've got a half circle with a path for it to follow. So I choose the sweep. I click onto the um, 2D profile and then it's path and there's the sweep. Perhaps a little bit on the large side, but never mind. And then I'm gonna go, uh, so then I'm still in the tool. I'm gonna hit the space bar to come out of the tool. I'm going to go uh, uh, make a copy. I'm going to select the objects, the sweep, and in the delta, what would it, what's it going to be? The delta y. The y's down there looks like it's going to be minus y. So delta minus, what should we say, 15? See what it looks like. Yep, if that's a bit much, delta y, let's put 5, so it comes back 5. That's it, and I forgot to turn off the. Uh, make copy so I'll take that one away. Uh, this one I could bring down a bit now if I wanted to. And uh, again because I've forgotten to take off my copy I've got two of them so I can save that. So here the sweep I'm going to put one of them up here somewhere so that was going to be a minus minus what's that going to be 50 no. Okay, I can do more. I can do minus another 20. Well, if I want to do a bit more, I can do, I can still keep moving it minus 5. That's about right. And of course, again, because I'd left the copy on, I've got a few extras here which I don't need, and I can take those off and right click and now turn off make copy. So, there's my lipstick. I can manipulate it around a bit. Have a look. And 
I'll put some materials on this and we there's my materials palette you think you might use uh, metals but in actual fact the lacquers pick up um, pick up reflections really well pick up the light so if we look down here and choose I think it's a deep blue here this one in metallic blue so if I choose the top and the base here put finger on shift to do uh, this one as well give that the blue the lipstick I think there's actually one called lipstick yep there it is Move that as lipstick and then these rings the sweeps uh, we'll put those as a gold uh, let's see what sort of gold we've got uh, brass metallic nothing so I've selected a row, so they're all on. They should all be done. I'll do Alt G to turn off the grid, and then I'll ask it to be seen in quality rendering. That says, do I want to accept the standard light settings? Yep, that'll do. And then it's normally quite fast. Right now, for some reason, this is black. If you don't give it a colour, it defaults to black. So let's. Um, uh, meant to do it that blue I don't quite know what went wrong there there it is there's the blue so I'll try that again I'll select it select select that double click on the blue there it comes and there's the lipstick now in another film I'll show you about lighting but if you wanted to the lighting doesn't look too bad there if you wanted to change the lighting, the lighting settings are here. And to see where the lighting is, if you go to wireframe, view, lights, here's your lights, show all, OK. Now you can now see all where the lights are. So if you wanted to change the reflections, you simply have to set up. Uh, different lights and as I say I'll go through that with a another one at another time but uh, as, a, as a default lighting system system I think that's come out pretty well and uh, that's your lot